All right, guys, you asked, I listened. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some Mutt Drafts gameplay, some of my own gameplay for the first time on my channel. I actually don't get to play the game much because of the nature of my videos, so I'll probably be pretty rusty. All right, so he came out three wide receiver. I'm just gonna start crossfire and see how he responds. He's actually four wide, four wide here. I'm gonna go hard flat, play aggressively over the middle. I want Cam Chancellor in that three rec playing really hard. He's doing a lot of hot routes. And QB draw with Vic on the first play. And we'll see on the drag. I over pursued a little bit and the drag was able to get underneath me. So that's bad user on my part. Um, just need to get better. That's me being rusty. So you guys know huddle. I'm going to go same setup here. And I'm just going to try and uh, make a better user play over the middle on this time. So once again, he's got double drags. And he took off with Vic. So good play by him. I tried to turn it into a, a Tampa 2 shell out of the crossfire. And I actually ended up messing it up. But right here, we're going to go back to Crossfire, and I'm going to go with a um, Blitz him. I didn't get it set up in time. He's going to have the running back. He's going to be able to scramble. Nice. Got a block shed. Okay, sweet. So fourth and six here. It's like I don't want to have to have a... Why is that soft squat not out there? Okay. I don't want to have to have a spy because it takes away from that the pass D so much, but... Okay, I'm going to use her underneath. Oh, I was hoping Jordan Hicks would get there, but he dropped it anyway. Okay, nice. So I was hoping Jordan Hicks with the 91 zone would play that route a little bit better, but he's at least in the area uh, to deliver the hit and jar the ball loose, so I can't really complain much. Um, So he's, he's Maybelline to that left side. Right here, inside zone looks very juicy. I'm going to actually just quick snap it, run it one more time, and we're going to be able to get inside. He makes a bad user play. And I should have tried to stop and go right there, but we were still able to get a lot of yards. Right there, he was stacked on the right side of the line for some reason. And so, and that was an easy decision for me just to take off and, you know, try and quick snap inside zone as quickly as possible. We're going to quick snap inside switch here. And the flat is wide open, so we're going to go ahead and hit Adrian Peterson. Try and get a truck, pick up seven or eight yards there. You and that was an awful read by me. I tried to go with the low pass on the post route. And I don't know what I was thinking. I thought the post route would be a lot more skinnier than that. In terms of, or not skinnier, but cut a lot more flatter over the middle of the field. And that was just God, awful by me. And that should have been a pick. Ah, Stephon Gilmore in a quarter. Or he'll just go no huddle. I just have to be careful here. I'm not really scared of him like actually doing something in terms of through the air but oh that's a safety and we pick up two points there so he tried to scramble out of the pocket i was able to get a block shed that was really what i was worried about was him getting out of the pocket and getting loose with vic but i was able to get a block shed and he was able or he was not able rather to get away from the defense so pick up a safety so maybe throwing the interception was the long con Throw an interception, get a safety, and get the ball back. So, so are you ever going to try some gun trips tight in offset? I'm going to go PA Crosser's first play. He might be in man-to-man. -man. Looks like he just checked out of whatever he was in. And we're just going to hit the, the drag to the tight end. Get down over the middle of the field. Don't want to take a hit. Pick up the 12 yards. We're pretty much in field goal range. And so we're just going to play smartly here. A stretch anyway. We're going to go. Sh we're going to stretch it to the left here. Yeah, we're going to stretch it left. Try and get outside. Pick up the blocks, and we should have been gone. Uh, tried to tiptoe the sideline. Got caught, but still picked up 30 inside the 10. Now we just have to not make a stupid mistake like we did last time. He's been playing aggressively. I kind of want to run a draw, but then again, I don't. I think I'm going to check into the HB base here at a gun bunch. Throw some fake hot routes at him. And try and get up the field. Tried to cut it up. Picked up five. So now we're at the two. I'm going to run it to the two-minute warning. So single back wing, and I'm just going to go stretch plunge combo here. So it looks like I might be able to get the edge on the stretch. He's in a goal line defense. I'm going to go ahead and go with the motion on the outside. Bring him in a little bit. Try and get the edge, and we're going to walk in for an easy touchdown. So that was all that was, was a plunge stretch option. Went with the stretch. He came out in goal line, which is ill-suited to stop the outside run. And we were able to get the edge and get into the end zone there. Going forward here. My defense is all jacked up here. But we're able to get the block shed off the edge there. So he keeps rolling into Jarrell Casey on the side. 
I'm actually going to check out of this. I'm going to go to a cover two drop. I actually want Hicks to be in a deep blue. So we're just going to go three man pass rush here and try and get some pressure. And of course he steps up. Once again, I don't have a spy. So I really don't want to put a spy, but I'm probably going to have to. Um, I'm just going to have to. So I'm, I'm going to spy him and actually use her a cornerback over the middle of the field here. And uh, so we're going to send the spy. Vic actually gets still to the outside. I was about to say, he's taking a lot of hits with Vic. And he picked that up. Oh, man. Vic picked that up off the ground. Okay. The only problem with this defense that I'm running right now is it's very telegraphed. Oh, I was a second too late. I was trying to bait him. And I overestimated Levante David's speed. But, uh, yeah, it's it's rather telegraphed as to whether or not I'm running, um, you know, crossfire or, or what have you. Right there, I was... He had two guys in the same area. I was trying to pick which one he was going to throw to. Um, this guy's kind of carving me up right now, and I'm not sure how. That should have been probably two user interceptions in a row. Okay, there we go. Third time's a charm. We get the user interception. Levante David's going to have to outrun Michael Vick here. I'm going to try a little stop and go. Ah, oh, should have been able to score right there. That's bad user you by me. Suck. I'm going to be looking for Jarvis Landry on this corner route here. He's not open, so just throw it away. So I was basically looking to see if he would be open for a low pass. He wasn't, so immediately just throw it away. So I'm going to have to take my three. All right, he hasn't really been able to stop bunch tight end other than whenever I make a bad read, but I don't want to stick in it the entire time. Some good trips tight end offset here. Inside zone, his cornerback came flying in. He must have audible that like the last second. Yeah, to a DB blitz. I kind of want to... Well, this is... Inside zone, once again, looks pretty juicy. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of room to run. We might be off to the races here with AP. He's not quite fast enough. Shoestring tackle by Ronnie Lott there, but eight carries for 113. I don't want to just keep running the ball, but, I mean, 8 for 113, this guy hasn't really shown that he can stop it. I would like to go with conservative ball carry, just so that Demarius Thomas doesn't get lit up and, and fumble. So we're just going to go Demarius Thomas here, try and get the edge, and and we're able to squeeze through for a 27-yard touchdown. Demarius Thomas gets on the board. That's going to be a three-possession lead, so it's going to be really hard for him to come back from this. Uh, he was in 4-4 there, so really crowding the middle, able to get the edge on the sweep. So I'm do not only do I need to watch the middle of the field, but also, okay, so we're going to send the defense at Vic. He's going to lob it up deep one-on-one, -on -one, and wow, okay, that was an insane moss over both Cam Chancellor and Ronnie Lott to put him at the 13-yard line, so that was crazy. I think I'm going to stick with cover three cloud here, and I'm just going to go ahead and spy spy Hicks once again and just use her over the middle of the field and just try and not let him get anything going we're gonna go ahead and send the spy he's gonna throw that and that's gonna be an interception by cam chancellor and that's probably gonna be the game this actually might be a pick six i tried to stop and go there and got lit up by an offensive lineman but actually gonna flip it run it to the right to Thielen since he shifted his line left try and get to the outside and once again that 4-4 having trouble against this wide receiver quick look Got a little speed here with Andrew Luck, so we're going to go read option off the left side here. And try and keep it with Luck. Get up field. <laughs> we almost broke it right there. Picked up 10. Actually reversed our field. That would have been pretty nutty. He's actually out in, like, field goal block. So it looks like he's he's kind of trolling at this point. And so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be able to walk into the end zone with the wide receiver quick there, Demaryius Thomas. And I'm not sure why he's still playing, honestly. Now the thing about the likely scenario is he probably just wants a little more playtime with UL Vic. That's probably why he's staying in the game, uh, just to play with him for a little longer. So I can't blame him. Really cool card. Obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You don't get to see him very often, so. Got stuck on a cornerback here. I'm going to have to come up and make a play. Click off. I didn't want to get juked by Vic. And he throws right at Jordan Hicks over the middle of the field. That'll probably be the end of the game. I feel like the quick sell is probably the better option, but the fantasy pack is probably more exciting. So we're going to go fantasy pack here. And then we get one of these guys. So 87 curse maybe. 
88 Atwater or 86 Steve Young. I'll probably go Atwater here. I think the 60K quick sell is looking better and better. Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead, go Steve Atwater there. And so that's our rewards for that four win. What drafts run?